wake me up to another good good morning time to go well hello and welcome to the newest edition of rambling rides i will be your host today amber marshall and i have a special guest with me here today because i know many of you have expressed interest about who is the mystery person behind marshall's country store social media well none other than cyan hi (laughs) so i thought i would ride along with cyan today and just maybe ask some questions and get to know a little bit about her and kind of what she's been up to with the interactions on social media and it's been awesome because I am not someone who really gets my butt in gear with that kind of stuff and so she shows up and she says okay Amber we're gonna do these reels and we're gonna do this and it's always a good time so I guess first of all what is your background in this type of thing is this something you just started doing or is it something you've been doing for a while I started doing social media right out of high school and I just kind of started doing it because my boss at the time didn't know how and I just figured that I could do it better than she could. (laughs) So I started doing it and I just really loved it and so I've been doing it for about four years now on kind of various scales and I've just done some personal development learning as I go and you do an awesome job (laughs) I think (laughs) the best thing is that you are so enthusiastic about it you know I feel like when you present me ideas you are way more excited (laughs) than anyone else is and I think that's really what drives it and it keeps everyone engaged and that's another thing is that what what is your um, thoughts on the community that Marshall's Country Store has and the people that you get to know over this time communicating with them I think it's such an awesome community that our social media channels allow us to have and to see everyone's photos from little kids wearing Marshall's Country Store outfits to like the other day we had a grandma posting of her wearing the Marshall's Country Store crew neck and I really value that part of the community and the enthusiasm that people show up with and yeah the support really. Social media is this amazing tool that you can use in all different kinds of ways but how have you noticed that it has changed or developed over the past year that you've been on board? I think just the kinds of content that we're posting has changed a lot and I feel like I've really got a groove um, as to what you guys all like to see and what performs really well. I feel like at the beginning I was posting a lot of like product stuff and it was like this is what we need to sell but now we're getting into more of that lifestyle this is the behind the scenes and I've noticed that everybody really likes to see those those things you know one day we did a big sale and I posted a behind the scenes of the back room just a disaster and this is this is what you don't see but we're showing it and we're showing up real one of the things I find really interesting and it it makes sense in the bigger scheme of things is that the online sales are from people around the world. So it's not just people in our own community. And what's really neat about that is sometimes people buying our items, our winter items, could be from Australia and it might be summer there for them and and really hot. And so it's cool to be able to get that feedback, not only from the people that come into the store, but through social media and the online sales, what people want to see, what products they like, and you know what part of the world they're in, and, and what they're going to be using them for. So do you find that there's, there's comments and different questions that are asked by people that are in a totally different climate or you know um, area of the world, and sizing is different? All of these things that uh, we kind of have to, as a team, help facilitate when somebody's buying something online we have to say okay so you're from Europe so the sizing might be a little different do you get a lot of questions like that yeah I do and I get a lot of feedback you know even when we launch um, especially hoodies and stuff and people will write in and they say oh I live in a very hot climate can you do the same design in a t-shirt right Um, so we get that a lot I also deal a lot with sizing because you know our Canadian and American sizing is not known across the world And so I definitely deal with a lot of different comments and feedback from people all over wondering just about things specific to here, but then also for us to expand into things that would be more versatile for them to use as well. One of the things that I love seeing on the Marshall's Country Store page is the reels that you do. And I like I just want to know because you bring them to me, you bring the ideas to me and Kira in the store and you say, "Hey girls, we're going to do this." And we usually go, "Okay, let's do it." So, where does your inspiration come from? 
I use social media a lot. I'm always scrolling and looking at, you know, what's trending and different ideas and seeing just what people have really engaged with because I want to be able to bring that kind of valuable content to the store. And so I will see a funny reel and I'll save it until I get a chance to be with you guys and then I, I share it with you and you know sometimes you guys are like oh I don't know if we're <laughs> up for that but they, they perform well and people love to see those like more funny videos and just the real life stuff and I think that is it's fun for us because you know it's it's not as scripted which is what I'm used to doing it's just fun and, and we have a good time with it and I think that 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 shines through on the post as well because if you can do things that engage yourself then in turn you're going to be engaging other people too yeah. one of the things that I never really thought about being a store owner was how far in advance you have to plan right and so right now it is winter and we are planning and ordering for fall 2024 and for Christmas 2024 or sorry yeah 2024 um, so it's one of those things that you have to wrap your head around and know what's going to be coming in in six to eight months from when you order. So is there something that you can do planning wise on social media where it kind of relates to that and you can plan in advance because you know what's going to be coming in? Yeah, and I think we've really got a groove because I've been, it actually was just a year that I've been doing social media for the store. Yeah. And I feel like at the beginning, we very much were like posting and planning for right now and so we would take photos and then we would post it like within that week but I think we've got really good at thinking forwards and being like okay this is like our long-term plan of what social media is going to look like and of course that changes but we have we're just getting so much better about having plans in place and so then we do have all of that content ready to go but sometimes it is really hard to wrap your head around when it's there's snow outside right now and you're taking photos for spring and summer and we're in dresses and so you have to get a little more creative about where you're taking photos and how you're styling them because obviously we couldn't take outside photos right now yeah and I think that that's really at the end of the day what makes it all worthwhile because when you get to see the feedback and see that people are really enjoying it it makes what you're doing even more rewarding Right, sure. And I think that's one of the things that over the years I have really enjoyed with the interaction and social media is being able to get that feedback because what I do, you know, I'm an actor, I go to work and um, my work gets put on television, but there's no feedback from it other than the social media. You know, people will meet me in the street and say, I really love your show, that sort of thing. But it's really cool to have this community that's been built up from people around the world who have that feedback and, and in turn kind of create this community where they have something in common. They have something that they enjoy watching together, talking about, all those kinds of things. And so that's when we started up the Marshall's Country Store uh, Facebook and Instagram page that was one of the things that I wanted to make sure was that I had someone in the driver's seat <laughs> that's you <laughs> that uh, really was passionate about it as well and Cyan you are a Heartland fan <laughs> yes I am <laughs> I joke with Amber all the time that I loved Heartland even before meeting and working with Amber and so I can really relate to all of the people sharing their stories and their posts and I I understand which I think is great because it is, it's one of those things where when you're in a community and pe people are passionate about something, you want to be able to understand and share that passion too, right? And I think that's what makes you do an even better job um, overall. But it is, it's always fresh and it's always nice to have members of your team who not only are passionate about it, about the people that are there, about the work they're doing, but also just good people to have around. And I have to say, I love my team and I love spending time with them and just having these road trips and planning things and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you. Thank you. You're a pretty good <laughs> boss. We're very lucky to have you as well. Well, thank you. Appreciation goes a long way. When you say, and, and this is kind of our, our Marshall memo to you guys, to tell someone that you appreciate them. You know, someone in your life, it doesn't even have to be someone that you live with or around every day, it could be a friend or even someone on social media. Just tell them thank you and, and mention some of the things that you're grateful for. So I feel like you've gotten to know the fans and the community pretty well over the last little while. So how about a little bit of a get to know Cyan? What, what is your favorite hobby or pastime? Oh, 
well, I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I read a lot for fun in my free time, and I read pretty much everything. Yeah. What are you reading right now? What am I reading right now? A James Patterson book. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, of course, this is what I want to know, but what is your favorite animal and why? Dogs, of course, because they're <laughs> the best, really, and they you can take them on walks, and they can come to bed with you, and they can lick out your bowl. <laughs> All very important things. <laughs> And if you weren't doing anything to do with social media and marketing, what would you be doing? My dream is to own a coffee shop. So there you go. Where, where people can read and drink coffee. Yes, of course. Exactly. <laughs> well, I look forward to that in the future. Maybe we'll have to do a collab there. <laughs> well, that's it. That's, that's all we have to say. So. And now you know who's behind the social media. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Putting a face to the social media page. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.